A function is a relation in which each input is associated with only one output. We can think of a function like a machine, and we can keep track of the inputs and outputs in a table. So for example, an input of 2 might give us an output of 6. An input of 3 can give us an output of 9. And an input of 4 might give us an output of 12. Another name for input is domain, and another name for output is range. So our definition of function could also be written as a function is a relation in which each domain element is associated with only one range element. A table is just one way to represent input-output pairs. We could also use what's called a mapping, in which the elements of the domain in this case, the 2, the 3, and the 4, are represented as part of a set. And the elements of the range, the 6, 9, and 12, are represented as a second set. The mapping occurs when we show how the elements are related. In this case, 2 takes us to 6, 3 takes us to 9, and 4 takes us to 12. Another representation for this relation is a graph in which the domain and range numbers that are related are x and y coordinates for points on the graph. So in this case, the first line, 2, 6, is a point on the graph. The second line, the 3, 9, is another point. And the third line in our table, the 4, 12, is a third point. We could also represent the relation with words. If we can describe what goes on from the domain number to its corresponding range number. In this case, if we triple the input, triple the domain number, we'll get the corresponding output, the corresponding range number. So we could say triple the input to get the output. Finally, we could use an equation to represent this relation f of x equals 3x. Think of it as saying a function in which x is the input variable gives us an output that is 3 times that input variable x. Now let's focus on these three representations and answer the question, is this a function? Remember, to be a function, each input value has to correspond to one output value. And in this case, that's true. 2 only corresponds to 6, 3 only corresponds to 9, and 4 only corresponds to 12. So this is a function. Let's look at a different relation and answer the same question. Is it a function? We'll look at it first as a table. Then we'll look at it as a mapping. So the domain numbers are 2 and 4, and the range numbers are 5, 7, and 9. We can see in the first line that 2 maps to 5, in the second line 2 maps to 7, and in the third line of our table 4 maps to 9. And in terms of a graph, we've got three ordered pairs, 2, 5, 2, 7, and 4, 9. So, is this a function? It's not a function, and that's because we do have a domain value, that's the 2, that maps to two different range values. We can see it in the table where 2 matches with 5 and 7. We can see it in the mapping where 2 goes to both 5 and 7. And we can see it in the graph, in the two points, 2, 5, and 2, 7. Now, it may not be quite as obvious in the graph that this is not a function. So one way to identify that is by imagining a vertical line that goes through both 2, 7 and 2, 5. If we've got two points that lie on the same vertical line, they have to have the same x-coordinate and different y-coordinates. That would mean that the same domain value, the 2, 
is mapping to different range values, both the 5 and the 7. Let's try one more relation and answer the same question. Is it a function? Here's a table that represents the three ordered pairs of the relation. Here's a mapping. The domain values are 2, 3, and 4. Range values are 5 and 9. We can see from the table that 2 maps to 5, 3 maps to 5, and 4 maps to 9. And for our graph, we've got three ordered pairs, 2, 5, 3, 5, and 4, 9. So, is it a function? In this case it is, because each domain value only maps to one range value. 2 only maps to 5, 3 only maps to 5, and 4 only maps to 9. Now remember in the graph we said a vertical line could be used to see whether we have a function or not? Imagine if you pass a vertical line along this graph it never touches more than one point at a time. So that means we do have a function. If that vertical line ever touches more than one point at a time, we wouldn't have a function. 